Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric We're here today in Loveland, Colorado. Um, this used to be an old liquor store. They're, we're going to uh, transform this into a lab. They do testing of soils. And um, basically the owners wanted us to move some outlets in the floor, so I want to discuss that with you guys. Um, most of this core and shell was basically pulled underground with a lot of PVC. We're moving this outlet right here to right over here. Um, and there's actually uh, three wires in this system with a fourth wire for the ground, but there's three floor outlets. And so it drops circuit 17, 19, and 21. And as they travel, we basically have a black, red, and a blue going back to the panel. Um, we moved this over here just so that the secretary could sit here with her desk. We've got some low voltage and, and uh, 120 volt coming over this way. And then over here, another floor box we're just going to cap that really really low profile and we extended this over this way too now over here i'll show you this um the guys that were cutting it um they accidentally cut through the data line right here this one inch so we had to repair this and get that repulled and then just extended our circuits we brought two circuits over here there's going to be a kitchen counter over there kind of with basically coffee pot microwave and a, and a little under a cabinet fridge. Um, so when you're doing this guys you want to make sure that you're, you're listing for your conduits at the top facing for your schedule 40 or 80 so they can see it. You only need to have schedule 40 typically in the ground um, but uh, anyways you want to make sure that's up faced up so that the inspector can see that. Also tape off your boxes so you don't have any cement get back in there so we told them there you know took some pictures to make sure they know that this is cleaned out. They did fill these conduits up with water once they cut because they cut through that line right here. So we went ahead and sucked out on both sides of the water and re-pulled a new string here for the low voltage guys. This is called a one inch slip sleeve right here, basically a slip coupling. And it's kind of neat, it's got some rubber grommets in here with some Vaseline and it allows it to expand back and forth so we can slip that joint. And um, yeah, it, it's only four inches of concrete, I believe. And so code allows us to be just right underneath that. We don't have to dig it down. It's just scratched in. Um, anyways, thanks for joining us, guys. Have a good day.